Hi guys, welcome to the short comparison between the Veed.io and the Capwing.com video editors. And this is not just by chance that I'm comparing them because you know I'm working with the Capwing uh, video editor since about two months and I've been looking then for something else because I had some problems, I mean not huge problems, usually it works pretty well, but I've been looking for some other video editor function and I found the weed.io by chance and I found out that they are very very similar. For me it really looks like they are using the same code in the background or that they have started with the same software. Maybe they have been one team and they split up or they are using some open source software which is available and both are using them and then continued to work with them and developed new features. When you look at this thing here on Vite.io, the most of the functions are very similar. So when we hit some clip here, you can see the context menu or all the functions which we have then for one clip. You see the adjust around corners, these things, a lot of things which we also have on capwing.com but very basic and a lot of things are missing. I mean, when we open this website and you're used to do video editing, it already makes it very clear that a lot of functions are missing. Usually some uh, really advanced video editors don't look like that. Uh, they look more like capping.com. You can see how much you have, especially when you click on such a clip you can see how much things you have in the editing really a lot of things regarding the video audio ai tools positioning aspect ratio rotating speed these things i mean some of them are also available on vid.io but a lot of are missing and one of the bigger things uh, which is missing on vid.io is the opacity that's something, uh, especially when you're working with a couple of different layers, uh, this can be very helpful and that's not available here. I mean, we also have this adjustment uh, function, but the opacity adjustment is totally missing. But there's something which both have and that's even a function which is really hard to find in any video editor and that's the remove silence. You can see that here of course it's not available in the free version here on v.io unfortunately so I can't show you the details when you click on that it says yeah, I have to subscribe and here in this case there are no uh, silences longer than 0 0.3 seconds. Uh, in this sample here, here on capping.com, we can click on something and then uh, use the smart cut. Let me click on that. You can see that, that we have even some uh, silence sensitivity, but usually it just works uh, properly when we use it in the default uh, setting. But it works really good. I mean, this is still the thing which makes me use the capping dot com video editor the biggest uh, the best function so but but unfortunately again i can't tell you how good it works but since they are looking very very similar i guess that they are using the exact same function because really the capping looks like a copy of wheat.io uh, which is much more advanced which they developed added a lot of functions and uh, somehow the beat.io has maybe just the original core and didn't develop a lot of add-ons. What's especially bad here is the track functions. You can see that's super basic here and it has a lot of problems. When we move these things around, they are just doing what they want. Usually when we drag and drop such a clip in the timeline, it should stick where we want to have it. You can see now we have a lot of empty tracks uh, maybe uh, two or three empty tracks here on top and I can't move them back here. It's almost impossible or it's actually impossible to do that. And this is never a problem here on capping.com. It really usually does exactly what you want. But here it's super, super difficult. Also another thing which makes me believe that they are using same core is that it's not creating an automatic transition when we move one clip 
over the other one. This is a function which we can use in a lot of video editors. Like we have this clip here, move it on top of the other video clip and then it automatically creates transition in many video editors, not here and also not in Capwing. But not everything is really bad on v.io. It has also some advantages, especially when it comes to stock audio and stock video. You can see that here you can even search easily for that and then you can add it. I think it's really included. Same thing here for stock video. It's really nice. You can search for something what you need and when you have found the right thing, you just drag it down here into the timeline. I mean, usually it should work. I don't know why it's not working now. Yeah, I think we have to click on it first and then it's uh, really loading. Takes a while. Now let's try and see if we can drag it down. Yeah, now we have it here. And for me, it really looks like it's uh, included this stuff here, this stock content. That's awesome because in capwing.com there is pretty much nothing except from free sites and then you have to be careful pretty much everything which you have here on capwing.com comes from pixabay and especially the audio tracks they still have some copyright protection even when it's coming from pixabay you have to be really careful when using it here so this seems not to be a problem. That's much better. But again, back to the editor, what I see here, uh, you can't use the keyboard. You can see when I use the keyboard, it has just some effect here on the picture. We can't use the keyboard or keyboard shortcuts here for the editing. Total different thing. When I use the cursor up and down, you can see I can use it to go back and forth easily in the video timeline. This helps a lot and there are a couple of things which you can use here. Also it looks for me that there is a little bit more function here uh, in the audio like text to speech. Much longer text is possible here on v.io and we have many more voices in Capwing. It's very limited. So again as a quick comparison we can say the editing part here on v.io is very basic, is very limited compared to Capwing.com. If you do a lot of editing like here when you see this uh, a lot of clips, a lot of cutting, a lot of adjustments then Capwing has huge advantages. When you have just long video clips and you don't do usually a lot of editing, you just add some text and titles and some other elements, then you're good to go with the VIO, especially because we have a lot of add-ons, a lot of stock content which we can add. This is good here, but really when it comes to basic editing, when you have to do the real editing work, then capping has huge advantages. So I would say at the very end you get pretty much same thing for the money, just with a little bit a different focus, but there's a huge difference and for me that makes pretty much the biggest difference and is the reason why I decided for capping.com that's the price but actually not the price but what you get for the price here in vid.io we have this basic for 18 dollars per month which is pretty much a similar thing as the pro on capwing.com and you can see what you get and we have a couple of huge advantages here on capwing we can create long videos up to 100 and 20 minutes even though it can be a little bit tricky especially if you have a lot of cutting but it's possible I mean by the way are limited to 1080p unless you uh, pay a huge price here like for the business which I think has higher resolution yeah I think it was somewhere here but basic is also just 1080p yeah here we have it uh, for 4k you have to go to the pro or the business which of course is super expensive so these are comparable the basic of the v.io and the pro on capping.com but you can see one big thing here apart from the limitations of 25 minutes which is uh, yeah compared to 120 minutes of capping.com it's limited but it's not a big deal who is producing videos longer than 25 minutes but the big thing here is the the 
storage that's crazy and with the basic which is already quite pricey we get only 20 gigabytes and if you're doing a lot of video editing then you know 20 gigabytes is nothing i mean for me that basically lasts for half a month or maybe one month and then after that i have to delete my projects here and if i have to go back and this happens sometimes when i have some complaints or i really need to do a change for older videos and this i mean this doesn't happen every day but sometimes it really happens that i have to edit videos which are maybe two three four months old and i just need to edit some small thing and then delete the old video upload the new video again and with capping it's absolutely no problem because the space is unlimited the amount of projects unlimited so i can still keep everything there as long as i'm paying this 16 dollars per month but here on vid.io i will have to delete these things very very soon even when i go with the pro here it's only 100 gigabytes which doesn't last forever and even with the business 200 gigabytes last maybe a couple of months for me but definitely not a year and this was such a huge price and with capping we get unlimited it's a huge advantage so i can even do some fun videos some things which i'm just using for me to test some technical experiments or so where i'm not uploading then videos uh, to youtube or so and here it will be always a challenge to uh, keep your projects within these limits. So for me, the clear winner is capwing.com. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And this is not only because of the unlimited space, it's also because it has much more features in the editing. And I mean, the editing looks much more professional, has much more functions. And it really works. Whatever you do, you can play around and it's really working it's doing usually exactly what you want and here it's more like a little bit playing around for me it looks like more like a beta version and not like a final product so i'd say that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or your own experience with one of these video editors then just let us know what you think what's your experience i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you're really interested in capwing i'll put down the link which you can use to set up your account it doesn't have any disadvantages for you but it will help my channel and shows your appreciation to make this video and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time